Hey everybody, this is Dal Stone here doing a, another uh, substance designer video. Um, sorry, I said I was going to do a modeling video, but <clears throat> I don't know. I'm, I'm just feeling like I'm in the zone right now for substance designer. I've been watching a few more uh, videos on it and just learning a bunch of new things. So I want to continue um, continue with that. So, um, so a few things that I've learned. Um, and and I want to share with you guys is the difference between absolute and relative. So when I started this project, I set this, I set the project to rel um, to absolute. So I need to change that. I need to change that. I want to change that to re relative to parent. And the reason being is because relative to parent means that you have a lot more. Your project becomes more dynamic. Um, what that means is, because uh, because you, you're gonna notice that everything prior to me, like let's say, let me redo that. Okay, everything was set to two K, right? So this is what absolute does: is when you make something absolute, it's gonna make sure that everything is a two K, is the, the size of a two K, um, which is really expensive. And so I learned this over the past couple of days. So I figured I'd, I'd show this to you guys. And I'll and I'll create a video. Um, it's it's on my list of videos that I want to do on my tutorial series. Um, so hopefully you guys check that out. If you guys are into Maya, I just finished a my top five hockeys for Maya. Very handy stuff to watch that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna click off the grid. Sorry. And then I'm gonna change this little red button here. I'm gonna change this to relative to parent and. What's really cool is usually, let me see here. Usually you can, usually you can see the information and display timings. Display timings. Usually this, there's this little dip, timing thing which kind of tells you like how long it's taking to load something, right? This is kind of really good for optimization. Uh, is display timings. Okay, uh, control alt. Okay, cool. Yeah, so alt shift is the anchor, creating an anchor to make things cleaner. Um, I'm th I think I'm gonna do a top five uh, shortcuts for substance as well after I'm a little bit more um, versed in the program. So why this is so important is, for example, if I want, like this is a uniform color, right? This is a uniform color and right now it's at 256 by 256 because it's set to parent right but i can go to absolute here and then i can change this to 16 by 60 right so now but now i don't know why this this output here Oh, sorry. Yeah. So if I go like this, um, output is going to be relative to parent. Sorry, output's going to be relative to parent. Uh, that's weird. Hold on. Why is this weird now? Absolute. Sixteen by sixteen. Sixteen by sixteen. Usage, format, yeah, so because it's just a plain color, you don't need it to be anything fancy, right? Um, so for roughness is the same thing, I'm going to change, so this is going to be changed to, it's going to be changed to, set to relative to the parent right now, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, if I change this to absolute, I change this to 4, 4, 6, 9, 16. Yeah, so there we go. So, And I'm going to do the same thing for, for these as well. Now what happens if I change this to relative to parent and absolute? I don't think that changes anything. 
<clears throat> but yeah, it's just something that I, I realized that I wasn't doing. Um, so important. It's definitely important to kind of keep that in mind. Um, relative to parent, relative to input. So yeah. Um, so that's one thing that I that I noticed here. Uh, and then if I ever wanted to, yeah, because now this is set to relative to parent. If I wanted to input this as relative to parent, two fifty six by two fifty six, and I. Let me just select this here. So if I go, so right now it's 256 by 256. If I go up to, should make things 512 by 512. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll scale everything up as well, <clears throat> which is really interesting because it it can change, right? It can change. Like I can change this. Now that now that you see all these numbers, like this is a 256. Does it need to be 256, right? Um, I can change this to like absolute and change this down to like 632 by 32 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, because I mean, you don't need your little shape here to be like super high quality. Um, but, but yeah, so <clears throat> just something that I've, that I learned. Um, I don't want to start a new package. I was going to do a, another, another output. Cause I also learned that, you know, for our shape of our rocks, we shouldn't be, we should have it as like a separate graph. And then this would be like its own graph. So it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, sorry, I'm doing a terrible job at, at explaining this, but all I know is that it's pretty important to kind of try and keep things um, not as crazy. So I don't know why that is causing even more, like that's making things even more uh, expensive. Because it shouldn't be. If I go to absolute here, and it changes down to 64 by 64, it should make things a lot quicker, right? If I change this to absolute, and I go 64 by 64, theoretically this should have, but it's not. So I don't know. It's it's really weird how that's working. Okay, regardless, let's get into creating some more shapes. Um, so for now, I think I'm going to create another polygon shape here. Polygon 2. Let's just uh, bring this up to like five sides again. <clears throat> then I'm going to try and find a noise. Um... Go for a Perlin noise and for the Perlin noise, let's go to a blend. So let's throw in this here. Let's throw in a Perlin noise at the top of that. So for this Perlin noise, you can change this to absolute, change it down to like 64. <clears throat> for this polygon, I can do the same thing. I can bring this down to 32 by 32, right, to make it a lot cheaper, right? And then here, I can do the same thing, right? You can do relative to input. Right now, it's relative to input. You can go relative to parent, so that's 256. So it'll boost it up to 256. It doesn't really make too much sense. I'm just going to... Um,
Let's go relative to input for now. Um, this is 32 by 32. Let's change this up to 64 by 64 so it matches a little bit better. So, so right now, currently, it's like it looks like that. Um, so let's go to copy here. So here you get like just better, sh nicer shapes. I find. Um, so we're getting some more rock shapes here. I'm going to put a transform node here. So again, you know, it was the reason why I'm changing things from relative to absolute is just to kind of keep things optimized. Um, earlier, everything was set to absolute. So it's really important to kind of anything that's like showing up as red, like this one, for example, uh, there's got to be a, a way to kind of or orange like this one's really bad. Um, so for this one, I think, you know, it's pretty relative to parent right now. Yeah. So it's like, it's not really liking this right now. And I think it's mostly because of the size of the texture. Probably the texture is probably like way more, it's being sh like shrink, uh, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent. Um, so for me, I can easily change this to so let's see here 56. Okay, so this is kind of our shape. It's not bad. It's a not it's not a bad shape at all. Um, let's continue to go forward here. Multiply is not bad. This shape is pretty cool. This is really unique. Um, that is a nice shape. I like that shape. Divide looks pretty good. All right, so let's start with divide. And then we can change. <clears throat> um, the histogram. Histogram scan. Oh, is this not supposed to go here? Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe the histogram scan goes here. Histogram scan. Oh no, what am I doing? So if I backspace, it save, it keeps that. Uh, histogram scan. So here, um, position. Contrast, so you can do the contrast. Okay, so this doesn't really help out too much. I'm just going to delete it. So this is really cool. Um, let's go with a gradient map. And we're going to go grayscale. And we're just going to play around with this a little bit. Like I really like this, but I feel like, no, hold on here. I'm just going to remove, how do I remove this one? Um, So I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna just play around with this here. Let's go. Not a shape like that. Let's bring this shape in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. And then let's bring, let's bring this out a bit more. Right now, I feel like it just needs, like it's pretty flat, right? Right now, and I don't want it to be flat. Is that if that makes any sense? Um, see how this looks when I 
move this around. It feels really flat right now, which is what I don't like. Um, it, it definitely feels more like a rock for sure, but so let's just hone this shape a bit more. No, you don't want that. Let's bring this in, maybe. Okay, maybe it needs. Maybe it's the blend. Maybe the blend is not what I want. But divide is probably the nicest one. Okay, so let's just let's just try this for now. Uh, I mean, we have like a bunch of random shapes, right? So um, so we have this. Let's add. That's what it looks like now. That's what it looks like in here. Let's add a noise. Go something like dirt, something like dirt, and then let's blend. Just grayscale. This is grayscale as well, and then let's blend this to kind of give it more of what we want. Sixty-four by sixty-four. I feel like maybe this is a little bit too low. Let's bring everything up. Let's bring everything up to let's just bring everything up here. There you go. So obviously we don't like that's a pretty intense rock. Um, Let's keep going to subtract. That's super intense. Min. No, so obvious. So there's one that was really good. I think it was subtract. Yeah, so we'll you do subtract, and then what we'll do is we'll lower it down just like that. So now we have like a nice little rock. Rock there. Um, I still feel like it's missing here, directional. I feel like it's missing a directional warp. Or some sort of warp. I feel it's missing something. Um, Playing around with the shape right now, a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, well, I think I've, that's pretty much all we can do at the moment. So I'm just going to do that. I'm also going to do another tile random. in here <clears throat> so we totally don't want too many let's go with like 10 um, and then we'll
and then we'll threshold this. Random Now we have a bunch of those, and we should be able to just plug. So we just got blend these. So this is a blend. This is a blend. So we need to plug another blend in here. This is another blend, and we're gonna blend this one into here. We've been using a pretty decent blend. Um, max light screen so let's see so we still want let's see what looks good max light looks decent overlay looks good it's doing some issues there though no I think it's gonna be screen looks good So screen or max lighten. I think I'm gonna go with screen. And right now the texture is like super low, super low, right? Like the quality wise. So I think I'm gonna bump. Bump parent here to 512 by 512. Let's bump it up even more. Let's bump it up to 21K. Just so that we can see it a little bit clearer. Like, do you guys see some of the, the details now inside the rock that I created compared to last week's? Just adding in that little noise really makes a difference. All right, you can really see it now when I pump it up the 2K textures. Right, that little small noise makes a huge difference here. And again, when you look at this image, though, there's not too many little grains, right? You're gonna see little grains right here, not too much of it, though. So, I need to make bigger size rocks. These little pebble things need to be bigger for this to feel like it's. It's even doing anything, so I might have to change this out for a different noise. What if I upscale this? Right, I bring this into here. So this is the noise upscale. This is an I don't know what this upscale does. I don't think it does anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete that. Cause I don't think it did anything. Um, if I scale this up more, so let's scale. Scaling it up. Gradient. Let's see if I sharpen it. Doesn't seem like it's doing too much for the sharpening. Yeah, so I don't know. It's not that's not working. So I'm gonna have to 
play play around with it some more to figure out how I'm gonna create some of these really cool shapes here. Um, I want to create more shapes that like look like they're popping out, like more of like these types of shapes, but even more of that. I feel like at the moment we have too many of these flat ones, and I think that's from my new from my new rocks here. So I might have to mask some out. So just masking some out so that it's not too much of it. And I think I just need to solidify more of the of the rock. So 